Hi, this is Thomas Farley. Here are some points to remember with the SAPFI 2. I think the most important thing is to turn off every network on every device you have nearby, except for Wi-Fi on your phone. Everything has to go off. And it's not just turning off the device, whatever you have, watch, iPad, laptop, computer, turn them off, but make sure before you do so to turn off their settings, their network settings, and with your phone itself. So make sure that cellular data is not enabled. Just kill every every other thing except for Wi-Fi. That's going to cause the least an interference to the SATFI network that you that the device will establish. Keep the terminal as close to your phone as possible. Yeah, Global Star says you can range 50 feet. Closer is always better. Make sure the device is powered down after use. It will, with its blinking lights, after it starts to power down, it's easy to miss the fact that it's still blinking. And if you don't, then you're going to find something really warm in your backpack draining the battery down. Make sure it's shut down, no lights every time. Charge a sat fight too after every use. That's obvious, even if you have a small battery pack. If you're uh, backpacking or just away from the vehicle some distance, I use it primarily as a car camping device, not as a backpacking. I think the Spot X2 is a better device for for taking uh, as an emergency signal, an emergency device to if you're actually backpacking. The SatFi 2 is better set up for car camping. Expect dropouts and wink outs. Yeah, these these will happen. Um, you'll get the signal will get lost from terminal to phone. The link to the satellite will be lost. These are the vagaries of the atmosphere. Uh, any t uh, wireless. Uh, wireless environment is an inherently difficult medium. Uh, it would be nice if Global Star provided a cable to go from the phone to the terminal because then you would eliminate that possibility of loss. But if you have a clear view of the sky, connection should come back. Just wait a, t wait a while. The connection to the satellite seems to get better after five or ten minutes. So that's positive. Wait for that. Uh, get your predefined messages in order, waiting for the bird to connect, waiting to connect to the bird. Writing in real time is nervy work, even though you can do it, because you're composing a message and not knowing if connections are going to be lost. Uh, that's why if you can get some predefined messages in your file folder, there's a little app, there's a couple of apps that enable you to create text messages on your uh, your phone and save them in your files. Not many people use the files folder on an iPhone, yeah, but it's really, really handy to go there, copy and paste a message. Um, you'll get it done with enough testing and enough back and forth. Um, yeah, the SatFi 2 network can be turned on anywhere at any time. It then allows you to compose messages that are queued up later for sending like with Gmail. You essentially do drafts. And once it's in the queue, it'll go out when you get a good connection. I wouldn't make it too heavy, too many messages. Just experiment at first with several short ones. You can't be mobile with the SatFi 2. That is really, really important. Oh, and I out in the desert, I will sometimes put a block of blue ice underneath the device. There's no condensation. Um, heat kills batteries, and sometimes I worry about a device just shutting down if it overheats. Most of them have an internal uh, thermometer, for lack of a better word. When troubleshooting, make sure you're in a cellular dead zone of testing voice. Yeah, the, your phone will hijack your voice traffic if another network is available. Scheduled check-ins are probably a good idea in the field where you, instead of somebody waiting around all day for a message 
to come in at any time. Uh, if you're really in the field, if you're out deep, uh, probably a best to uh, check in at a certain time. If no connection is possible, then try to check in at the top of the hour every hour until you do make a connection. I'm not telling you how to organize your life. I'm just saying that's probably a more dependable delivery method. I'm having problems with text messaging. Not reliable yet. I can send messages, but one batch arrived four hours later. I continued to test, but that was not a good experience. They, an undeliverable or non-delivered text message does not give you any failure notice. You will should get that in Gmail, um, but not with text messaging. Join me below. Perhaps we can figure out problems and send test messages to each other. That's what I have in mind with this uh, Global Star Interest Group on Facebook, that we can develop a network of users whereby we can uh, test our devices, get them dialed in. So if we're going out on a big trip, uh, some really isolated trip, that we have, uh, we have our devices dialed in and possibly a set of contacts besides our original contacts that we can fall back on, the, the user group. Uh, thanks much, Thomas Farley, and you've got the information here. Thank you.